Veteran officer told a police recruit to shoot black people, then tried to keep it quiet. WDRB's Valerie Chin uncovers exactly what the former prospect assistant police chief said and how his words came back to harm him. This is still a developing story. WDRB just obtained pages of disturbing racist and sexually explicit Facebook messages between Todd Shaw and the recruit. They all came in light while prosecutors were investigating another case. But his words created a firestorm of controversy. Uh, first, that the people in this community uh, realize that anyone who shares such blatant uh, racist views should not be given a badge or a gun or a position of authority in this community. Memes showing an Elmer Fudd with a gun and a racial slur, and another one showing a boy with a disability wearing a shirt with a racial slur. Jefferson County Attorney Mike O'Connell uncovered them in private Facebook messages between former Assistant Prospect Police Chief Todd Shaw and an LMPD recruit. It's probably the most disgusting thing I've seen come out of the mouth of a police officer. The response to another message from the recruit asking what to do if he caught juveniles smoking marijuana, F the right thing if they're black, shoot them. Then he suggests having sex with a juvenile's parents, unless daddy is black, then shoot him. Well, I was stunned. I'd never seen uh, such a... Uh blatant uh, use of foul language coming from a sworn police officer. O'Connell found the messages so disturbing he immediately alerted Prospect's mayor. This guy's gone. I mean, he was suspended the day after the mayor got my letter. He, uh, they worked out some arrangement to get rid of him and he's gone. Shaw resigned late last year. Sources tell WDRB News the messages were uncovered when Shaw was investigated for interfering in the sex abuse probe of the Louisville Metro Police Explorer program. Shaw says he was cleared in that investigation, but because of the messages, 24 cases involving Shaw as an officer are expected to be dismissed. As far as further actions criminally, I'm not sure that uh, these have crossed that line in terms of cr criminal behavior. Although um, the effect it has on the criminal justice system, if this goes unnoticed and unchecked, is extraordinarily serious and could affect rights of a lot of people. Shaw argued that the messages were not politically correct and fought to keep them private. But a judge ruled they should be released under Kentucky's open records law. I hope he never shows his face in Jefferson County again. At the time, Shaw was also the acting police chief. O'Connell says Shaw's cases that will likely be dismissed are mostly traffic violations and lower level offenses. Valerie, have we heard from Shaw or his attorney at this point? Shaw has declined to comment. His attorneys have not returned our calls yet. Well, Shaw has resigned from the Prospect Police Department, but do we know if he has a job anywhere else in law enforcement? There's no word on what he is doing right now. Again, he's declined to comment, so he's not really saying anything about the case. He did have a 20-year career with LMPD before he joined the Prospect Department. What can you tell us about his alleged involvement with the Explorer sex abuse investigation that led to this explosive development? Well, one of the officers charged in the Explorer case is accused of asking Shaw to access the NCIC database to run license plates of undercover officers. Improperly accessing the database is a criminal offense. So where do we go from here? What's next? We are waiting for those cases that will likely be dismissed, and that's expected to happen later this month. Valerie Chen, thank you so much. WDRB's Jason Riley also working on this story. He details what Shaw said about housing projects, Martin Luther King Jr., and Muslims in a story you can read right now on our website, WDRB.com.